Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the three qualities. One is that the verses are very clear. Fussilat ayatu, number one. Number two, the Quran is Bashir. Give glad tidings to those people who adhere to the Quranic injunctions. And third is Nadir. Those people who ignore the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the Quran as Nazir. That's what Allah says. Yudillu bihi kathira wa yahdi bihi kathira. Allah through the Quran, many are guided and many are misguided. Those who follow, they are guided. Those who don't follow, they are misguided. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what happens? What's the result? Unfortunately, فَأَعْرَضَ أَكْثَرُهُمْ فَهُمْ لَا يَسْمَعُونَ Majority of them, they ignore فَهُمْ لَا يَسْمَعُونَ And they don't listen. So even though this Quran has come to everyone, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this Quran as a guidance, Allah says in the opening verses of Surah Al-Baqarah Alif Lam Mim Zalik Al-Kitab La Raiba Fi Hudal Lil Muttaqin This kitab there is no doubt Hudal Lil Muttaqin is a guidance for those people of Muttaqin So it's a guidance for those who don't want to take the guidance Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Inna Fi Zalika La Dhikra Liman Kana Lahu Qalb Indeed this is a reminder for the person who has a true heart Qalb who has a heart Because if our heart is completely dead then we're not going to get nothing out of it so this is the point here as here for our the majority of them they didn't accept and if you look at the society majority of the people haven't accepted the quran at least four fifth of the population haven't accepted the quran as their constitution as their way of life in the world majority the seven billion people how many of them are muslims so this is the point for our the akhtarum so majority of the people that's why this is an important point to remember that many a times we think to ourselves wherever there's a majority will go according to that many a times the majority might be on the wrong path and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says nasi wala majority of the people they will not believe even though you will want it once Sayyidina Umar Faru radiallahu ta'ala anhu he was passing by there was a person who was doing dua supplication to Allah and he was doing this strange dua Allahumma ja'alna min ibadika al-qaleel Allah make us from the small amount of servants of yours from those people who are small group. So it was a very strange dua. Who does this kind of dua? Make me from the small group. So Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he continued to listen after he completed. He said, my oh, brother, what kind of dua is this? He goes, what kind of dua is according to the Quran? According to the Quran this dua? Says, yes. The Quran says, وَقَلِيلٌ مِّنْ عِبَادِي يَشْكُورٌ Only small amount of my servants are grateful. وَمَا آمَنَ مَعَهُ إِلَّا قَلِيلٌ Only a handful of people believe. Group from the previous nations and a small group from the latter nations. Qaleel. So everywhere Allah mentions Qaleel, Qaleel. These are the successful ones. So I did it according to the Quran. Allah loves the Qaleel. Allah loves a small amount of people. And whatever Allah mentions big, Allah says that He doesn't like them. Majority of the people, they're not grateful. Majority of the people, they don't know. Majority of the people, they don't believe. Majority of the people, they don't have aql. So whatever Allah mentions, majority, la yaqilun, la yu'minun, la ya'lamun, la yafqahun. But when he mentions about qalil, Allah praises them. So this is a very important point. Many a times we think to ourselves, no, no, I'm with the majority and that's it. If the majority are on the wrong path, that doesn't mean we go with the wrong path. We don't step on that wrong path. We don't tread on that wrong path. We don't go according to their ideology. This is a very important point. In life, you will have to choose. There will be challenging moments. There will be tough decisions to make. So the point here is we need to look at what the Quran and Hadith tells us. 